Okay, we're back. If you remember the last time we made a video, I told you I had another smaller Kubota coming in, but it was a little bit different. This is a BX25, a BX model. Now what's special about this tractor is that it has a backhoe on the rear and the backhoe utilizes the original tractor seat when the operator wants to run the backhoe. It means he has to spin his seat around and now he can operate his hoe. And it would turn out, it had to be a little bit different versus my usual CAD as far as the back end is concerned. But other than that, as you can see, it turned out great, I think, as usual. And on the, this model here, because of, of the backhoe, you needed more headroom inside. So I made the back end about four inches higher than the front. And it created a nice look, a nice slant look on the doors and the glass. And I followed it through with, you know, with the, with the way the bottom of the windows went and whatnot. And it turned out uh, pretty nice. And if we come around in the back here, I have the removable panel off so I can show you what's going on. Now, <clears throat> this is how he's going to use it in the summertime. I put some nice handles here on each side. It makes it easy to get on and off. And I'll show you... <clears throat> that uh, even though there's a cam on it now, still very functional, just like it always was. Have all kinds of room, all kinds of head room to do your thing. And uh, you still kind of got a roof over your head with all your accessories. And the cad does not affect the way the back was gonna work at all. Actually, it makes it a little bit better because now we got some handles to get off and on. I would leave the back off for the summer months because, you know, before the tractor used to be totally uh, bare anyway, so now at least you got a roof over it, but it's totally up to the, to the owner. And I'm gonna show you what's involved in putting the rear panel back on. I have my glass here. Just like that, it sits on four studs that I have welded from the inside. Now, four washers and four nuts, and that's on for the winter time. The wiper is already in the window. Simple connection on the inside, plug and play. Two plug-ins, and his wiper is good to go. I made a real nice filler panel here. This is super sturdy. Just like so, and that's going to be held on with six bolts. When I did these, I made sure I tacked all the nuts on the inside. So that means you don't have to have another set of hands in there holding your, your nuts and your bolts. Tighten it down, plug in your wiper, and you're ready for the winter. Now your cab is going to be nice and heated. You know, we got the defrost coming on the back window, we have a wiper and he's probably going to remove his backhoe for the winter and he's good to go. And just like usual, we have all the usual accessories in our cab. As you can see, just like we always put them in all, I'll show you. You know, we have our switch panels all here. We have an LED dome light. We have our circulation fan, two speeds and you can put that where you want. And of course our light switches, our wipers, front and back, and our heater. Like I said a while ago, all they have to do now for the winter time is simply plug this. Two nice little quick plugs. And I got the nice piece of plastic loam to cover that after. And away we go. The only thing different with this kind of model is you can't open up your window like you do with my other cabs, but that's just how it is with a backhoe. I also took the time to clean up all this guy's tractor. It was quite dirty and whatnot, but now she looks like a brand new one. And another thing I did on this one, the client, 
you guys probably seen these. I installed one of these actuators here. So now he doesn't have to get out of this tractor to remove his tilt or his rotation. It's very convenient and it's a nice setup. Now everything you just push a button and away you go. And we have the tilt. And that's a real nice option to have. I kind of like it. I took the time to make everything nice and neat, everything's hidden, and everything's plug and play. The way these models are tooled are tricky when it comes to your hood, because the latch for your hood is right here, so I, when I design my pad, I make sure I have room to put my finger, and that opens like it always did. And in here you can see where I ran my heater hoses, like I always do. Everything's out of the way and functions properly. And that is a BX25. And I know there's a lot of people who got these tractors. They're very popular, but they're very hard to get a cab. I don't even think you can. Maybe you can, but if you, if you do, I'll guarantee you're gonna pay a lot of money for it. If you wanted to see the step-by-step -step process when I built this cab on this tractor, and all you gotta do is just go down and click the link below the video, and it's pretty straightforward. And you will be able to see the step-by-step -step process that I went through to build this cab on this BX25. And uh, looking forward to making another video when the next one comes in, and we'll see you then.